Hello everybody, welcome back to the learner portfolio entries, the examples that we're looking at. Today we'll be considering the annotated bibliography entry, which is one of the trickier entries I feel to get used to handling in the learner portfolio. And it's not something we're particularly accustomed to or used to. So we will analyze an example entry based on Toni Morrison's novel, Beloved, and here it is the annotated bibliography entry. So the source is obviously broken down depending on the citation form that you were using alongside a bit of a summary, evaluation and relevance. So our source, Morrison Tony, beloved New York, Alfred A. Knopf, 1987. The summary then is set after the American Civil War. Beloved explores the haunting legacy of slavery through the story of Seth, a formerly enslaved woman and her family. And then the evaluation. Morrison's novel is a powerful exploration of memory, trauma, and identity. Her use of magical realism and non-linear narrative structure challenges readers to confront the enduring impact of slavery. And then the relevance, why we're including this. So this source is central to my analysis of post-traumatic stress in literature, providing a profound example of how historical trauma shaped individuals and collective identities. So let's break down why this annotated bibliography entry is worthy of our learner portfolio. The entry is highly effective, I feel, due to its comprehensive and insightful evaluation of Beloved. The student provides a well-rounded summary and a critical analysis, demonstrating a deep understanding of the text and its literary significance. This summary offers a clear overview of the novel, highlights its central themes and its narrative focus. And by so simply describing the story of Seth and her family, the student has ensured that the reader understands the basic premise of the text. This clarity is crucial for setting the stage for further analysis, further discussion later in the line. And the summary successfully catches the essence of the novel, emphasizing its exploration of the haunting legacy of slavery. The evaluation section offers a critical perspective on Morrison's use of literary techniques specifically magical realism and, and non-linear non -linear narrative structure. These are both key elements that challenge readers to engage deeply with the themes of memory, trauma, and identity. By addressing these aspects, the student demonstrates an understanding of the novel's complexity and the innovative ways that Morrison has of conveying the enduring impact of slavery in a novel. The magical realism in Beloved serves to kind of blur the lines a little bit between reality and the supernatural, which reflects the pervasive and haunting presence of past trauma. The student's recognition of this technique shows their appreciation for Morrison's method of storytelling, which forces readers to confront the brutal realities of slavery and its aftermath, a key in a relatively unique and impactful way. Again, also the non-linear narrative structure in Beloved, which reflects the fragmented and cyclical nature of trauma and memory. By highlighting this technique, the student has underscored Morrison's skill in portraying the disjointed experiences of individuals who have endured immense suffering. This critical perspective reveals the student's ability to engage with the text on a deeper level and shows appreciation for the intricacies of Morrison's narrative choices. The relevance section clearly explains how Beloved will be used in the student's analysis of post-traumatic stress in literature. This direct connection between the source and the student's research demonstrates a very thoughtful and purposeful selection of text. The student effectively links the novel's themes to the broader academic inquiry, and by stating that Beloved provides a profound example of how historical trauma shapes individuals and their collective identities. And it shows how the student shows the novel fits into their research on post-traumatic stress. This very clear relevance ensures that the student's analysis will be grounded in a rich, appropriate literary context, which is fantastic. The detailed annotations also provide a very solid foundation for the student's literary analysis. It ensures that their interpretations are well informed and that they're grounded in credible scholarship, if not a very unreliable secondary third source. 
by integrating and critically evaluating the source and articulating the relevance of the source to their research, the student demonstrates their ability to integrate scholarly texts into their studies. This skill is again crucial for producing a very well-rounded and insightful analysis and really shows the student's ability to succinctly summarize, evaluate and link the text to their research focus. And it showcases their competency in academic research and critical thinking. We can see then that this annotated biography entry on Beloved by Tony Morrison serves as a very well-rounded example of an IB Learner Portfolio entry. It shows and demonstrates a comprehensive, insightful evaluation of the text, and it gives a clear overview of the novel. It has a critical perspective on the literary techniques and a strong connection to the student's research focus. So again, linking this as with earlier, earlier entries, as you work on your own annotated biography, bibliographies, you need to really consider and strive to provide clear summaries, critical evaluations, and really articulate the relevance of each source to your research. In doing so, you'll be creating entries that are not only informative, but they will also demonstrate your ability to really engage deeply with texts and scholarly sources. The, the annotated bibliography entries are a fantastic way of really linking the text that you're reading to possible research that you're planning on, possible topics you're discussing, and maintaining those for later, later recurrence. So when it comes to individual orals, internal assessments later on, to really be able to come back to references that you considered at the time and consider what you were thinking at the time, to consider how you thought that was relevant, why you thought it was relevant at the time. Because this can then directly be enhanced and played on, built on, to potentially use within your internal assessment individual orals later on. So these are key to make sure that you go through, make sure you stick to the same formatting throughout. Um, so making sure that you're sticking to the same citation format. And then also making that same structure in this case, for example, the summary, the evaluation, the relevance, and keeping that so that later on you can really compare, contrast all these different annotations that you considered of different books. For the next and last point, we will be considering the thematic essays before just rounding out all of these entries. Thank you.